Okay, so uh, first attempt of underbelly under terror mode casual difficulty. Oh, by the way, thank you, Luscious, for redeeming the child point reward to uh, pick my pick the outright character that I'd be using. I guess I got no choice but to uh, try and beat this scenario with Yoko. Wait, there's only one enemy downstairs. Unlike on higher difficulties, there would be two of them. Now there's just one of them. I think with only one enemy to worry about, I can try picking up the items. I was gonna dodge, but I dodged too late. I can get a blue herb later on. I just focus on getting getting out of here first. Oh, that was strange. It seems that I saw the train wheel on the tracker. I don't I don't know if that was intentional or by accident. There's a knife here. I think I can use that knife. I thought I was gonna dodge. I was gonna have enough time to dodge. Gonna need to work on my dodge skills. Oh no! The first gun and the first melee weapon. Oh, the first knife is here. I was trying to figure out that the timing to uh, dodge. Maybe I can figure out how the zombie how the zombie attacks. Make it to my advantage. Whoa! Oh. That was a fast recovery. Whoa, flinching. I couldn't quite figure out how to uh, time that right. Okay, now I should not make the same mistake later. I keep seeing the I keep seeing the model train wheel on the tracker for some reason. Okay, now I definitely see the plane wheel. So this item set might be a uh, might be a long one because the plane wheel is there. I can assure that this item set with this item set I won't be fighting the boss early. be a handgun ammo here somewhere. I think on the east tunnel there might be either a giant wasp or a, or a couple of zombies. If the enemy next door turns out to be a zombie, I, can, I think I can handle it with knife. 
but if it turns out to be a giant wasp, I'm gonna need some ammo. It's a zombie. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need to and I need more practice on dodging the zombie. For some reason I put it For some reason stun locking it doesn't work. Oh there we go. Now if, I, now if only I can pull that off for all of the zombies, things would be easier for me. That would be easier. Luckily, I don't have to unlock doors. But I think I might need to unlock the uh, the uh, locker room doors instead. The rest of the doors should be open. We'll be heading to the subway car next, but I should uh, get rid of this one first. Oh, by the way, thank you Luscious for tuning in on today's stream. Appreciate it. Normally inside the subway car there are two enemies. But it's a good thing on this difficulty there's only one one enemy instead. Oh crap. I was gonna use that against a zombie. I think I have I have better chance of getting rid of the zombie without getting damaged by just use Yoko's tackle. Or to fight ta hard tackles from Yoko can bring down the zombie. Which is quite useful. Stop my timing. There's a more there's a more powerful knife over here but i think a folding knife would work better because it stun locks a zombie much better than than a regular than a butcher knife okay i'm gonna head to east concourse first to pick up some items before i head to the west but let me unlock the door here first Let me unlock that door first. 
but, but I'll head to East Concourse first so that I could read the memo for the safe that I, that I need to, that to unlock on for the control room. gonna get attacked there should be only one dog here for this difficulty better to get rid of this one so that i can pick up the items in peace The reason I went here first so that I can uh, read through this memo so that I can unlock the safe later. There shouldn't be any important items to grab here so might as well go. Guess I can uh, place this somewhere else. Three zombies now. I thought I could uh, try gra and grab the handgun GL ammo that was there. I'll pick up the rest of the items there later. Okay, with, I think with two zombies, I might be able to. <laughs> Try and get the handgun GL again. It's not here. I thought that I thought the handgun GL was there. Crap! My Ooh, that was close. I thought for sure I would get hit. Okay, time to head. Uh, or maybe not yet. Better go back to the east tunnel and leave some more items behind. Then I'll be heading to the employee passage next. Let's see now, are there any more places to leave items with? I guess I can leave the fully loaded gun here. Guess it's snow. Where's that zombie? I wanted to try and find where the where the handgun ammos are. Oh, <laughs> Probably be better if I stroll down the platform instead of here. This is the handgun magazine. I'm looking for the hand handgun rounds. I know there's supposed to be an item here 
think there that's where the handgun ammo should be. Maybe it's not there. I guess I can just go. Chances are chances are the handgun ammo might be beside where the train wheel is. Let me see if I can get the hammo stash. Before some more zombie shows up. Could be right here. Nope, not there. Oh, found it. <laughs> this is not good. Okay, if I can manage in this room, if I can manage to fight the zombie one on one, I might be able to uh, get rid of them all without any problem. But if it turns out more than one zombie come at me, if it turns out more than one zombie come at me, might be able to be in trouble. Because my plan is to use my plan is to use Yoko's hard tackle to bring down the zombie and knife it to death. How come nobody uses that? <laughs> I think I hear more than one zombie coming. Ah. Oh, now I'm in trouble. I can beat a zombie one on one no problem, but if there's uh, more than one zombie that's gonna come right at me, that's where the problem starts. There's always more than one zombie that always comes out of that room. I might have to uh, shoot down one of the zombies so that I can continue with the other enemies, but I. But for that to happen, I'm gonna need some handgun amps first. Oh fuck. Maybe I could fight the zombie here one by one. In this room, there's only one zombie that comes inside. Let me get rid of the leeches first so that I can start fighting it. The zombie just has... The zombie that has just entered is the one that has the low HP. So uh, I think that's gets, that gets rid of one of the zombies. Crap. We're supposed to pick up an item, not exit the door. Okay, there should be now there should now be one less zombie to deal with. That's the second zombie down. So the third zombie is nowhere. Guess I can take this time to uh, deal with the control room. Oh no! Oh! <laughs> oh! That was funny. Accidentally getting out of the room just because I tried to shove enemies. Oh no! That was an intention now. Oh shoot! I wasn't expecting there'd be another zombie. I can't fight. I can't fight zombies two on one. Oh 
Oh. Should have just left the room. Let's get rid of this one first. the respawn time for this difficulty is uh, pr pretty pretty slow so i get a lot of breather if i manage to uh, get rid of most of the zombies Tackle is sure is powerful. I don't think much people realize that <laughs> because uh, most of the players in vanilla would just uh, fire at fire at a zombie to death or simply use a melee weapon instead. Oh, I get Magnum here. Maybe I can just place this outside. Let me finally reload this gun. Is the only Yoko can knock down a zombie with a tackle? I think any Yoko type. Ah no, any Yoko type can uh, can do that. I I've already tried it with Regan B before. Can also uh, tackle down a zombie. Uh, she can also shove a zombie, knock down a zombie by shoving it. I wonder if any of the zombies have already opened the door. Oh, there we go. This one's already open. Other character can knock down a zombie with tackle. Well, well, there's Kevin. Kevin is able to do that. What the? Kevin is able to do so if you time time his tackle right. There's George as well. He's hard. You can charge up his tackle, then uh, you can send a zombie flying instead. I guess it's pretty. It's just pretty rare. Oh, fuck. it's pretty rare for. Uh, it's pretty rare to find out that Yoko can do this. Makes Yoko a lot useful just because of this. But of course, this is just under terror mode casual difficulty that um, doing this is much easy. I can't expect, I, I can't, I can't expect to uh, have the same results on the higher difficulties. But uh, still, uh, zombies, uh, the zombies can be knocked down by five tackles. That's for, e that's for every difficulty. Yoko can do that with five, five tackles. But of course, uh, how long will the enemy, how long it takes for me to get rid of the enemy will be much longer on higher difficulties. Oh, this one's a broken handgun. Oh, no luscious. Uh, Yoko's, Yoko's uh, tackle... Yoko knocking down a zombie with a tackle works on every difficulty. The only difference is that uh, it will of course take you much longer to kill a zombie because they have a, a lot of HP on higher difficulties. But Yoko's tackle works on, on all difficulties. You can uh, bring down a zombie with five tackles from her. Mm. 
Okay, before I go downstairs, I'm gonna head to the men's restroom and pick up the item there. I guess that's because no one ever, no, no one ever, ever attempted to uh, yeah. tackle a zombie away. Because most of the time, people uh, players would just fire at a zombie to till it dies. Oh, no. Wait, there's only one spider there. Yes. Oh, you should not have thrown this one away. Oh, there are zombies that are about to respawn. Ah, crap, leg got caught. Instantly got into danger. Give me a chance to recover first. Crap! That was close. About uh, one hit away before getting there. Man, like, let's take this chance to heal. Oh, shit! They didn't even give me time to prepare. Zombie just came rushing at me. Yes. The zombies are about to come back. The shop in place. Let me get the assault rifle ammo here, then I'll head downstairs next. Let's go. I can get the items here so that I don't have to come back here anymore. The zombie modes are so loud. So pretty sure my inventory would get full in the next couple of rooms. Uh, I might have to leave this here first. There are a couple of spiders here. That's what's this for? Oh, crap. Oh, shoot. Oh, why can't I hit the other one? But instead I hit... Yes. <laughs> 
Oh, there's a... There, no, there's a working panda. I'm either, I'm either brave or forgetful that I uh, forgot to bring myself some forgot myself to bring some healing items. Ah, oh, shit. I think I need, I need to be a little bit farther. Oh! Oh, you gotta be kidding me! <laughs> I was uh, relying on auto aim for me to. I was relying on auto aim. Face me at the zombie. There should be another zombie here. narrow area oh oh now I have to grow all the way to get the green herb and get out of here first pick up, the, pick up the green herb that's upstairs then go back down for that zombie my fault for not bringing any uh any healing items with me when I got downstairs. I think I should have just hit that zombie with a tech brush instead. Birds. It's safer this way. Over there. Oh no. Now where'd that go? Where'd that zombie go? Head is not turning the where the zombie is, so I can assume that zombie is nowhere. This is the only door that uh, needs to uh, come open. Might be able to get the employee passage key in here. Okay, virus gauge check. I'm at 23% and I'm at 40, per 40 minutes end game. I'm already 40 minutes end game and I'm still here on the basement. 
on the basement floor. Normally, when you play this game in vanilla, it only takes you about uh, 15 minutes to get downstairs. Oh no! And you can actually finish the scenario in um, less than 20 minutes. That's just by uh, escaping the other plane, by the way. We want to finish this by uh, the uh, second ending. We're gonna have to spend about 30 minutes instead. But this is terror mode after all. The minimum number of the minimum number of time to finish this game is usually uh, is more than one hour. Okay, I've been saving that assault rifles for that, those buggers. I'm gonna need to uh, pick up everything here. Okay, this is the uh, employee area key that I needed. I'll be able to unlock most of the doors with this. There's all there's one more app, one more item that I should grab. This one. I guess I'll go use this one to heal. Using an antidote heals about 300 HP. Pretty much enough for me uh, to change my HP from orange red to yellow. Oh, I think some of the zombies are respawning. There should be, there might be a surprise zombie here. It's kind of neat how this zombie waits, waits for you to get there before it spawns. Man, I got, I got better luck killing the zombie this way. At least I'll be ready to shop it again. Hey, greetings, uh, Mr. Gunny. Welcome to the stream. Zombie's dead. Oh, this is unlocked. Wonder what? I wonder what next door enemies is. Oh, there's a single zombie here. Oh, there you are, zombie. Crap, I missed. He missed as well. Gotta be careful because there's is it a single green herb around here? So they could use that later. Let's see now. I will be needing this later. But I can gra just grab that one later. Shotgun runs. I think I just uh, will stack this one first. I don't know where the burst handgun is yet, so uh, I guess I can carry this one instead. Okay, let's go um, drain the waters via the pump room. I might need about two item slots. Oh, 
was looking for this one. That was close. I was about to get grabbed by those hands. Let me uh, go back to the stairwell first and... Uh, oh! Let me go back to the stairwell first and leave some of the items behind. After I'm done with the pump room, I think I'm gonna need about uh, three item spaces. Let's take the assault rifle for later. I'm gonna use handgun for the next door. Uh, what else? Guess I'm, gonna, guess I'm gonna have to use all of this one up so that I have space for some of the items here later. Okay, I think that zombie came from the pump room door, so I can assume that the door there is already open. Oh, okay. Since I'm the only one playing here, so I can I think I can expect that there would be zombies coming right from behind me. There we go. Took care of that. Glad I was able to anticipate that. Normally when you're playing with uh, more than one player, you can have someone someone wait someone wait outside the B, B, B2, B1 area so that no zombies would come inside the pump room. But uh, since I'm only uh, playing here alone, so I so zombies guessing getting inside the pump room is expected. Okay, water strained, but that but this doesn't mean I'm already halfway through the game. I am still far away from getting halfway through this scenario. I'm already uh, almost 50, 50 minutes in game. Oops, should not forget to turn the power back on. about to respawn we can bring all of these items upstairs now let's go. yeah let's go yoko let's go back upstairs grab your hands <laughs> To bring the lighter with me. I can leave the assault rifle there for now. Maybe I should have left something else. Oh well. I 
I know there's an alcohol bottle back at the subway car, but I can't get there right now or I'll trigger the megabyte cutscene. Guess I should um, solve the breaker room puzzle first. All of the zombies are about to spawn. Okay, I could uh, try and get rid of some of the zombies. Oh, there's a bottle here. I can make my first bottle. Okay. Oh, I don't have my cheat sheet here. Okay, that's the first Molotov. Bringing out all the items so that I don't have to come back here anymore. Let me take a peek on what the storage I storage room items are. Then I think I'm gonna be heading to I'm gonna be doing the lighter puzzle next. I wasn't expecting that zombie to be in there. Ah. Let me finish up the zombie first. That didn't kill him. That took me by surprise. One said expecting there be two zombies. Crap, the burst handgun. The burst handgun might be underneath this one, but it's gonna be impossible for me to push this uh, giant box alone. So I won't be able to get that. It's too bad though. I'm gonna be able to get the assault rifle magazine. I, I'm gonna not gonna be able to get the burst handgun. I mean, and uh, both antivirus pill and the first aid spray. <laughs> Can't believe I'm missing three items just because I'm all alone. I guess I should bring a butcher knife now. Because I'm not uh I'm not stop stun locking any enemies anymore. I'm gonna be doing the lighter puzzle next, so uh can bring the shotgun shells to the boss room. I think just bringing the assault rifle would be enough for the water tower.
zombies are respawning. Okay, we just want to the boss room now. Uh, we should do the lighter puzzle. Spider here. I hate dealing with a spider with a melee weapon. Usually, uh, I get poisoned. <laughs> it's too bad there isn't any use for the burst handgun magazine because I won't be able to get any burst handguns. There should be another newspaper back inside the uh, inside the lob, inside the employee passage. Let's do the lighter puzzle here. Let's go. Let's go. I'm gonna make the second Molotov so that I'd be able to bring it to the boss room. Forgot, forgot you being there. So I'll leave the knife here for now, or maybe not. I think I can just take out some items and bring it with me downstairs. We're bringing this to the boss room now. I'm heading via the east tunnel. Oh, the zombie's gone. Where'd that zombie go? Oh. <laughs> Forgot to unlock that. <laughs> It's a good thing I got a moment of invisibility while unlocking that door. I was so sure that I'd get hit by that. There's another alcohol bottle here, but I think uh, the next... The next newspaper is not... Uh, will be uh, much late. Much later on the water tower. Oh, crap. I was already there, but I've forgotten to uh, do the second part of the lighter puzzle. Okay, let's do the third part of the lighter puzzle, but... Uh, but first, I'm gonna leave some items on the east tunnel.
Oh, now I remember why I should have brought that knife. Won't be able to kill the zombies here in Sealy. Oh, the zombies here are back. The zombie here is back. <laughs> Let me give you a taste of Yoko's finest tackle. one of these it's not like I'm gonna be using all of these anyway I think with a magnum gun, some molotovs, and a shotgun are all at, are all that I need to uh, finish up the boss later. Okay, let's do the third part of the lighter puzzle without triggering the cutscene. But I need to make sure that no zombies uh, come chasing me. I'll have, or I'll have to get rid of them right away. I think that's that sound is going to come right at me. Gotta be super careful not to trigger the cutscene yet. Let's uh, let me go get the last. Let me do the last part of the lighter puzzle, then I'll trigger the cutscene. Mustache that I have. Better get out of here. There's my charm. I think this one's a fully loaded hand on GL. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, let's go trigger the cutscene now. Should be ready. But I was gonna go pick up the green herb here on the left. Crap. The time it takes to pick up the I to mix the green herb is not enough for me before those zombies get well before those get zombies get to me. Let me try that again. I'll get a, a single second of invisibility long enough for me to mix the green herb. Now let's trigger the cutscene. Well that zombie was uh, on the right side of the st st stairs a while ago. There's uh, extra mega button. Oh crap! There's a set of molotovs here, but I threw away the lighter. Uh, not actually throw, but I think I left it a little bit far away. Back. Go stack this, I guess. I guess I can go bring this one. I'm not sure if I still need this key. If it happens that I needed a key and I forgot to bring it. I'm gonna be, be in big trouble. Better head, better head to the east tunnel. I'm gonna, ex I'm expecting the repair team to be there. still have to repair it I haven't uh, repaired the pipe yet the repair tape is this in this area just to get rid of the megabytes here right away because uh, those megabytes stay up until the boss battle. So if you happen to uh, leave those megabytes alone up until the boss, you'll get extra two enemies. The bird team should be here. I I can uh, leave that one there for now. <laughs> Oh, there's, a ex there's an extra shotgun shell that appeared. Uh, where do I go next? Back to the basement one, I guess. I have to go all the way back to the pump room, turn off the water, then go back here and get... And go back here and grab the uh, water tower key. Then I have to make my way to the water tower. So it's still gonna be uh, quite some time before I face off the boss. Like what I said, I'm not even halfway through this scenario yet. And it's already 1 hour and 16, mi 16 minutes in game. I'm at 44%. We 
we need to get rid of the mega right here. Hold for spawn. I'm just trying that one out. Deep uh, getting rid of the megabyte there won't respawn it anymore. But I'm pretty sure that uh, hitting any any of the megabytes here will just re just make them respawn later. Oh, I completely forgot to get the lighter. Oh. I didn't actually see you there, bugger. Let's make our way to the... Make our way to the pump room. Three zombies just uh, disappeared. Wonder where they are. Oh, there they are. There's an extra megabyte here. But there should be some more zombies that's about to appear. I'll try to uh, make the zombies go away first on the pump room. Then I should uh, go back so that I have enough time to get back up without getting interrupted by those two zombies that are behind me. Oh, man, crap. There isn't even enough time for me to do that. What are we- ah. Oh, I'm sure it's kind for those zombies to wait for me to finish this. I guess with this, I'm halfway through this. I'm halfway through this scenario. Let's go. First, this. Just focus on getting rid Ah, on, on. Just focus on getting rid of this spot. I think this enemy won't respawn anymore if I kill this. So I only got three zombies to deal it with later when I go back here. Oh no! Oh no! I don't have enough bullets for you anymore. get this we'll put you out of your misery Take the, this one here for now Stop is I have to get the vent key downstairs. Back on the train crash site. There should be uh, no more important items here. There should be no more reason for me to go back there. I think in this uh, part of the room I can just try to get rid of the mega fights first. Yeah. 
makes it easier for me to uh, around here. I'm relying on auto aim for me. Uh, I'm relying on auto aim to uh, make me aim at the enemies. Crap. There should be an enemy here. There should be another one here. And I was expecting a bug instead. Okay, now def definitely I won't need the lighter anymore. Wait, I'm gonna head to East Tunnel first so that I can surrender the uh, surrender some of my items. I think I might be able to uh, survive the water tower trip with just the assault rifle and the fully loaded handgun. I don't have to bring everything with me. I could get rid of those. I want to leave the Molotovs here. Maybe I could uh, bring the shotgun instead. Save the assault rifle for later. Shotgun, shotgun shells. Could bring some shotgun shells. There should be a uh, handgun magazine. I should bring the shells with me. I don't want things to get ugly later. Should it be uh, too confident? Because it will only uh, take one small mistake to uh, turn every to uh, screw everything up. I'll use this one. I find where the handgun ammo is, but I couldn't find it. I need time to reload. Oh. Oh, there should be one more item here. There should be another item here. Oh, was I able to get the green herb that was over here earlier? If I uh, wasn't able to get the green herb there, I'm not I'm not gonna be able to get it now because the frame frame crashed there. 
Okay, I'm gonna make my way, uh... I'm gonna make my way to the water tower next. I wonder where the handgun ammo would be. I wanted to... Oh, wait. I think there should be, uh... There should still be a green herb inside here. If I remember correctly. Oh, there we go. Oh, but there's an extra megabyte there as well. Ow, what the... Yes. Oh, I, I'm not sure if this was worth it. I could use the handgun GL magazine for later. I think I still left. I think I still left a handgun GL somewhere. I can't find it. Never mind then. Just hope the enemies here haven't respawned yet. Still have a bunch of items here. I'll mix it. I'll mix this one in case I get poisoned. Oh, there's the water key. Uh, the employee passage key. I'm not sure if I'm gonna need this one. Better try and save ammo and just ignore that one. Head straight to the exit. Oh, the megabyte respawned. I guess uh, there wasn't any point on me getting rid of it right away. Try to get rid of the megabyte, not the zombie. Because there's no use. There's no use for me getting rid of the zombie there. But it's just gonna respawn later on. There isn't any important item here to grab. Better just head straight to the door. Ah, oh, but oh, come on, come on, come on! Before I get poisoned, last thing I want to. Last thing I wanted to happen is me getting poisoned. Let's go. Oh, there's a red herb here. And a green herb. Just have to just go mix this one up. And leave it here again. Nope. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave this one here. I don't need it right now. I wonder if this is enough. I better prepare the shotgun. I guess this is enough to uh, get rid of all the enemies. Better make the last shot count. Crap! <laughs> so much for making the last count. Shot. I uh, last shot count. Okay. So this wasn't needed. Okay. 
I think there's an enemy here that I have to beat. This one I can get rid of. Crap, I can't delete. Ah, oh, can't believe I'm using a shotgun to get rid of the enemies here. Got no choice. Let's see now. The important items here is both halves, both half of the founder's emblem, the magnum, the magnum revolver ammo is a nice addition as well. Forgot to, uh, forgot to just do this one first. Got no plans on killing that enemy there. Oh, that cancels the... That cancels the cutscene. Oh, I made it. Did you know you can uh, get attacked? Did you know you can get attacked by it and fall on this uh, on this ladder? It will, it will be a very high drop, but you still get no damage from it. But it's just a funny thing, a uh, funny way to get down from there. It's a it's a rare occasion on uh, when you get you get attacked and uh, still still get down down there by falling. Right after I get the boat tab half of the founder emblem I still have to make my way back to the back to the boss room I have to leave some items behind I guess I'll reload all the handgun ammo and leave the handgun behind so that I can use the handgun for the last as print this enemy I can get rid of people should be mindful on how many enemies you should get rid of here on this water tower because the big problem here is after you get rid of the enemies here they all respawn upstairs right on top of this area so if you happen to uh, kill all of the enemies here and they all respawn upstairs you're gonna have a big problem escaping the uh, escaping this water tower later on so I lim I usually limit the megabytes that I kill to this one, this this area right here, the one and the one downstairs, nothing else. I shouldn't be uh, killing the meg the megabytes anywhere else. If I could, I try to es escape escape them before they even get catch up to me. But if that happens. I'm gonna need to outsmart it. Ow! <laughs> oh! And I was trying to... I think the best thing to do for this one is to 
let the bug uh, let the bug suck the player's blood and uh, let it grow. Oh, never mind. Was able to make it up. I got space for two items. I'll just be using this one. I'm gonna need to uh, turn around because that bug is over there. I won't be able to get up the ladder. I always forgot to wear the shotgun <laughs> because if I wear the shotgun I run a little I run a little bit faster and that bug is fast forgot it I forgot that if I wear the shotgun Ryoko runs a little bit faster okay this is one of the items that I needed Okay, luckily I don't have to go all the way on the other side of the the other side of this area. Usually on higher difficulties, the other half of the Founder's Emblem is placed there. You have to uh, go all the way there just to get just to get it. But in this difficulty, it seems that the both of this both of the uh, key items are just near the ladder. Okay, I'm gonna make my way back to the subway car now and place the emblem so that I can fight off the boss. I'm almost at 75% of this scenario. Virus gauge. Check. I'm at 66% virus gauge. I'm at 1 hour and 42 minutes in game. If you compare this with vanilla, this is already about uh, seven, 7 complete games in vanilla. The time of the time on how I uh, take this long to finish this. Okay, I got everything. Now to make my way back. Or what? Way back to the subway car. I guess I'm lucky that I'm. I'm lucky that I'm using Yoko. If I use someone else like uh, David, I would have already had trouble on my inventory. And I make it out without fighting off these bugs. Ow. Ow. Last thing I wanna... Last thing that I wanted to happen is me getting poisoned. There, re there really isn't any point on killing the enemies right away because they just respawn. Even the enemies here, they respawn as well. On oh, terror mode pro difficulty, the, uh, the most dangerous... Uh, the, the, the most dangerous time for this for this uh, scenario is going back to the subway car from here. Usually, this is where most of the players uh, get their game overs. But that's for a uh, terror mode pro difficulty. Okay, that one shot at it. Still have a bunch of items here. My charm is over there, lying down there. 
There should there's a zombie here. You can tell by to where Yoko is facing. Crap. <laughs> There's a trick here. You can lure all of the enemies here near the exit so that uh, when you go back to the employee passage on your way back to the water tower, all of the uh, bugs would still be there and you have uh, more time to uh, to run towards the corridor if you uh, if you get through the west passage instead. I need time to uh, switch items. You'll see what I mean later, right after this boss. Oh no! Oh, I still have a first aid spray here. I guess I'll go. I'll go use a first aid spray to heal instead. Let's uh, place both of the founders' emblem so to start off the fight. I did read the memo for. I did read the memo to uh, be able to place it. If you haven't read the, if you have haven't read the note on the control room, you won't be able to place this here. Wow, that is happening during the hot scene, I, during the scene. I guess I should have not have used the first aid spray right away, because I would, uh, I would still, I would have space to bring it. Never mind. It's not important. Boss time, finally. So it took me about one hour and 42, uh, 47 minutes to get to the boss. This underbelly scenario sure is hell along. I think I might be able to finish the boss without using the pesticide spray and instead just use the magnum. I won't be, I won't be bringing this what this gun with me anyway. I can't aim right. Oh, I already finished reloading. I guess uh, I guess I was reloading while the megabyte hit me, so that skipped the anime, uh, the reloading animation entirely. Oh, this is not enough to uh, finish off the boss apparently. I guess this boss is much more resistant to um, the Magnum. Oh, this was an empty one. Oh, there's an antivirus still. Oh, I just. I'm already at 73%. <laughs> I have to pick up some items before finishing up the boss. Oh, there's another fully loaded gun here. This one here. I'm gonna use the pesticide spray to finish the boss. Still have a full stash of um, all the tops there. I missed. Oh, I'm out of charges. I haven't killed it. I guess I could uh, just use this one. Okay, time to uh, get out of here. But I'm not. I'm not gonna be able to get out of here via the train. Let's find out why. So the motors have set the set the train to leave at less than 10 seconds. So it is impossible for anyone to uh, it is impossible for anyone to finish this scenario via the trainway. Oh. 
So the only way out is getting back to the vent, all the way back to the vent tower. I'm gonna need one items. I'm gonna need one item space to pick up the items over here. Nice view, isn't it? The camera angle changes right after the train has left. So uh, the camera angle for the platform is uh, changed to this one. No time to enjoy the scenery. Because there are a lot of enemies now. I think I could just uh, get rid of the bugs here. There we go. I meant to throw this one away anyway. I need that one to get out of here. I think I'm gonna be finishing this scenario in two hours. There's only eight minutes left before I hit the two hour. Okay, uh, remember what I said earlier about uh, bringing all of the enemies back on the other end of the room? This is what happens if you do if you do so. So all of those enemies are still on the other side of this room. So you got uh, enough time to uh, get to the... You'll have enough time to get to the corridor. But uh, I'm using Yoko, so expect that I'm running a little bit slower. <laughs> if, 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 it is, if, it is, if it is was any characters, I would have made it to the corridor. Before those bugs could have catch up to me. I guess I could go use this one. Okay. I have to say bye bye to the charm. I just use one of the charges for the charm. The charm works the same as an antivirus build. If you notice, the charm earlier had 8 charges. In this version, uh, the moderators made it... Uh, give it a use. You can use it now like an antivirus build. So it gives, you some, it gives you about 3 minutes worth of antivirus when you use the charm. Virus gauge check, I'm at 74%. I don't think uh, picking David here will... Uh, I don't think if I pick... Uh, I think if I pick David here, my virus gauge would, would not last. Those enemies are bad. Oh, yeah. I think I may prepare, should prepare a shotgun instead. Someone help me. Oh, it's the final stretch before the last room. We'll have a mixer here. I didn't even have to use the Molotov cocktail. I guess I should have realized that uh, if I rea have realized that I didn't even need the Molotov cocktails, I shouldn't not have wasted time to make them. I will be finishing this scenario without ever needed needing to use the Molotovs.
Oh, I, I left a, I left a loaded handgun here, but I guess I don't need to use. I don't need that anymore. I guess now it's uh now it's all right for me to get rid of the bug here. I'll be able to get out before that thing ever responds. Luckily I didn't fall all the way back down there. Look at all those enemies. There are a total of three enemies here. Because I killed two of the megabytes downstairs. So only two megabytes have respawned. Just imagine if I killed all of the megabytes downstairs and then uh, they all ended up uh, respawning up here. Of course I can still take care of them since I have the shotgun, but on higher difficulties, you wouldn't want that to happen. Oh, there's a green herb there. And then that's it. Thank you. So underbelly finish under 2 hours. Took me about 1 hour and 58 minutes to finish. Thank you. So that was underbelly under terror mode casual difficulty. The time it took me to finish it with Yoko is 1 hour and 58 minutes. My virus gauge was at 76%. Any other character other than Yoko would have already uh, gotten their virus gauge to somewhere around 80 to 90%.